we get closer to the height of football season, officials are reporting an uptick in Clemson ticket scams. Our Peyton Furtado spoke with several people who say they have already lost hundreds of dollars. As an upstate transplant, Danielle Smith has adopted Clemson as her new team. So when she saw they were playing against Charleston Southern. It's at Clemson. I graduated from Charleston Southern, so I was like real excited to get some tickets to go to this game. This month, she posted in the Clemson ticket Facebook group, and after weeding her way through potential bots, Smith settled on one person who said they were a Clemson alum and used to be part of the band. Smith asked for proof of tickets. No, sure, no problem. Sends me screenshots from Ticketmaster of the tickets they had said they had. Smith paid. The tickets never made it to her inbox, and the person went radio silent. According to several other Clemson fans, this particular scammer is very convincing. She knew uh, what to say about transferring from Ticketmaster like she'd done it before. She had pictures of her at games. She was part of the band um, and lived local to the area. David Cote is a Clemson alum but was looking for tickets for his brother. He said the person he messaged, who appeared to be a young woman, was very nice and carried on conversation until he paid. After that, it was excuse after excuse. When, when I started calling her out on it, she blocked me and um, didn't get any tickets. We had already sent her money. It was $600 that we had spent on four tickets. The scam is becoming more and more common for anyone buying tickets from third parties and social media. Now out $200, Smith bought her ticket from Clemson directly and hopes fewer people fall prey to convincing scams. Got on StubHub, paid the fees, bought tickets to this game that I really want to go to. Um, but I think people just need to be cautious and go through the ticketing websites where it's verified, it's guaranteed. And that was our Peyton Furtado reporting. A Clemson spokesperson told us the best and safest way to get tickets is through the Clemson Ticket Office or Ticketmaster. Now, even if your ticket doesn't work, if it's purchased through one of those ways, you're guaranteed to get in. If you are scammed, you should call police and file a report. At 6.53, according to AAA, the average price for a gallon of gas fell four cents last week to $3.83. That came despite growing demand, which usually increases prices. The overall price of oil has fallen, and that influences prices at the pump. However, experts say it may not last long. Here's a look at prices locally. In South Carolina, it is $3.42 a gallon. In North Carolina, it's $3.53. And in Georgia, it's $3.59.